Hello, this is Jawa James. I'm here with a, an unboxing video of the uh, Star Wars Ralph McQuarrie art book uh, from Amber Rubens Books coming out this uh, 2016. This thing is pretty heavy. Uh, I'm going to unbox it here. Uh, we'll just look at the, the packaging. We got uh, on the outside this lovely slip cover. The shrink wrap has uh, this little sticker that says it's the Com Ralph McQuarrie Complete Artworks for Star Wars, a two 400 page books and a deluxe slipcase forward by George Lucas. Um, on the back, kind of shows what's some of the stuff that's inside. Uh, we got a nice sketch here of a Stormtrooper or Boba Fett. Um, talks a little bit about what's inside it. Um, it's from Abrams Books, so thank you for letting me check it out. This thing is heavy. Here's the, the edge of the slipcover. Um, I got this in a, a box that came in the mail, and it said it weighed 21 and a half pounds. I don't even know if my daughter weighs that much. Uh, so let's open it up. Let's get the shrink wrap off here and find out what's inside. All right, there we go. Woo! All right, and this comes out just to tell us what we got there. So maybe I'll do a special shot of that. All oh, this we got uh, nice kind of cloth covered slipcase here. Um, oh my God, this thing's. Massive. Let's see if we can slide out the books. Ah, ah. All right, so here's the slip case. There we go. It says uh, Ralph McQuarrie there. All uh, right, book two, which is the one here on top, has a uh, add at sketch for the cover. But let's get over to book one. It has the classic uh, Darth Vader concept sketch. Uh, you know, the, the volumes are labeled uh, Ralph McQuarrie 1 and 2. So let's take a look here at what we got. Very cool. It just starts off with the Ralph McQuarrie's uh, um, autograph, not quite autograph, but you know, when he signs a, a sketch or something. Uh, this is uh, written by Brandon Allager, Wade. Legiosi and David Mandel, produced in cooperation with the Ralph McQuarrie Archives from Abrams, New York. Uh, we got some very lovely uh, spreads here. The first book covers um, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, here's the forward by George Lucas. It has uh, George Lucas sketching something that some of the concept art for Star Wars was also done by George Lucas. Uh, there we go, just to kind of start McQuarrie on ideas. Um, here we go. We got some different uh, character sketches, different vehicle sketches. Ah, look at that. It's a early design of 3PO with just an O mouth as opposed to the uh, kind of flat open meaning. We got all kinds of things. Look at that. We're looking at uh, different Imperials. Here we are for the uh, Yavin throne room. Some of the Death Star surface, some of the Death Star uh, docking bay entrance. There's just a lot here. And then moving on to the Empire Strikes Back, we have an early sketch of a uh, soldier on a Tauntaun. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. So, um, oh my gosh. So, let's see, 21 and a half pounds. So each of these is uh, 10 and 3 quarters pounds if you don't count the slip case. So maybe that weighs 3 quarters of a pound. So, this is 10 pounds of book right there. Um, all right, the second book, volume two. Covers uh, More of the Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and then Beyond the Films. Um, so let's go through here. We've got a, an awesome shot of uh, Java Sail Barge. Uh, some more things from The Empire Strikes Back. This, I think, is a concept sketch is for Bounty Hunters uh, from December 1978. 
Uh, ooh, this is a cool one. I think this was might have, something similar to this was used on the uh, De Ter Terlizzi uh, retelling of the, the trilogy from Luke's point of view. Here we are with some uh, classic Dagobah cave stuff. Um, moving on, what do we have here? These are concept sketches, headgear and such, Cloud City residents. So, yeah, some different uh, things here. And then here's the Ion Cannon. Finally, uh, the Rebel Base. Cloud City. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. This is just showing of, of what the map painting would be like. He, he painted the map, and then they would just insert the, uh, this looks like the docking, or the landing pad platform on Cloud City, and the Falcon would go there. All right. Oh, let's not go too far. Let's, what do we got here on the Return of the Jedi? Oh, oh no. Oh, merchandise that uh, this classic one here of the bounty hunters that uh, ended up being used. And then here's the 1980 Lucasfilm holiday card and Christmas in the Stars album. And then finally moving on to Return of the Jedi, we got uh, you know, Jabba's Palace, some different looking uh, Endor troopers and uh, such, the Endor uh, landing platform, throne room, for the Emperor. We've got some uh, early concept sketches for uh, what looks to be the Ewoks and uh, riding on their ponies and stuff. Some ships, all kinds of stuff. This is just insane amount of sketches. Oh, look at that. See, these are some of my favorites uh, from the Return of the Jedi era. Uh, we've got uh, down here. 3PO and R2-D2 meeting EV-99. We got the Slice Noodles and the Max Rebo Band. Uh, we got, ooh, here's that classic shot of the uh, B-Wings attacking one of the Star Destroyers, another version of it. Uh, beyond the Films. So what's Beyond the Films? Hey, look, it's uh, getting some Academy Awards here. Uh, the Star Wars Illustrated Universe, which was a book that... Uh, came out and was written by Kevin J. Anderson. Um, some great pieces there. That's a Great Dragon. Uh, Tuscan Raider Camp. Um, Hoth and Tauntauns. A Dagobah Giant uh, Swamp Slug. E Ewok Village on Endor, which this design kind of reminds me of uh, something we saw in the uh, Battlefront video games for Kashyyyk. Some of these. Uh, Yavin, a lake temple, you know, floating spas on Cloud City. The little bit from the Most Icely Cantina pop up book from the 90s. Um, and then uh, Jabba's Palace pop up book. So maybe go track those down. And then, uh, you know, here's the 1995 Lucasfilm holiday card. Some of the Galoob toy packaging from the, the late 90s. So, you know, Macquarie had a pretty long history of working with Star Wars, not just as a concept artist for the original trilogy, but some of the uh, ancillary. Hey, check this out. Does this look like Nima Outpost from uh, The Force Awakens? Why, yes, yes, it does. And, you know, here's some of the products that were that you later used as art. So, that is very cool. Um, yeah, this each book is 400 pages. Uh, it comes from Abrams Books, and that's about it for now. So uh, thanks a lot. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video.